Kurmarupa Prabhu Ki Jai. Care for cows. Ki Jai. Yes. So this is our Care for Cows Seva at Bangsi Bhatt. Two and a half months have gone by. Care for Cows has been doing Seva for these um, it's orphaned cows. All these cows over here have been dumped in the government Goshala by either owners or people who don't want them in their fields. And we're taking care of them here. It's been two and a half months. Like fresh water for the cows, for the calves that, you know, that are not inside. They, you know, they need, they need, um, you know, their own, their own water because it's really hot these days, you know. So, yeah. Look at these guys. Oh, you little munchers. Munchers, you got them. We got chops full everywhere, you see. Over there, more cows. Over here, cows. In front of me, cows. Behind me, cows. On my sides, cows. Everywhere I, I see cows. That's all I want. Aage gaya, piche gaya. Jaha dekhun gaya hi gaya. You know, this is, this is how it is with Krishna. Krishna's cows are sages, great sages. They're not ordinary cows. <laughs> they're, they're perfected beings. These are also Krishna's cows, you see. So, uh, today we had a very, very long day, you know. We've been uh, serving at Barsana and, uh, and uh, you know, and then after Barsana Seva, which is about an hour and a half from the Goshala, now we've come to, uh, to Bangsi Bhatt and to the Mahadev Goshala to do our evening session of Seva. And, uh, I'm flying. All I can say is I'm flying. <laughs> I am flying. I ain't touching this ground here right now. <laughs> I'm like, it's a, it's a whole nother level of just, I don't know. I cannot explain it, but it's a really awesome feeling. Just feel satisfied, like fully internally satisfied, gratified, fulfilled. You know, these are just some of the words to describe it, but it is, uh, it's quite a, uh, quite a nice feeling, i just put it that way, it's very nice, feels very nice <laughs> to be so engaged, no time for this mind to just have any, any word, just giving not a single moment to this mind to just talk, shut up, <laughs> best way to tell the mind to shut up is just engage it, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, just a little quick view. I don't know if you can see this, this, this kingfisher on top over there. And there's a little nest. Maybe with some eggs in it. Bangsi Dham. I can hear a kirtan in the background. So many peacocks here. So in this way, in this way, in this way, this human form of life is just such a wonderful gift when we can serve. When we can serve Bhagavan, when we, when we can serve Krishna, when we can develop our relationship with Him, when we can act in a way that is towards that relationship with Him, you see, then that then this service just becomes so awesome, it becomes so fulfilling, you know. And then when we try to do just you know anything that is not for the pleasure, direct pleasure of Krishna, what does Krishna want? We have to understand that from the scriptures, from the sadhus, from Sri Guru. You know, but there is a very clear trajectory to it. You know, it, there's a, I mean, there's a big difference between just doing good and pleasing Krishna. A lot of people confuse like, you know, I don't know, like, you know, so-called education, um, you know, giving food to the poor and all of these things. That it, it's, it's great. This, don't get me wrong. It's very, very good. But for example, a person that, that you know, a poor person that you give education to, what's the, what's, what are we doing? Are we making someone who is absolutely satisfied in his simplicity into a very egocentric, um, money-minded uh, um, go-getter in the name of education? Oh, he needs an education. Great, now he becomes like just money-minded and he runs for money day in and day out. So we have to understand there's a lot of there's a lot of, of, of gray ground in, in this space of what is good. 
So therefore, our Shastras have said, what is good is just pleasing Krishna. Please Krishna and everything will sort out. Do what is pleasing to Krishna. You see, this is, this is, this is the Shastras, this is Sri Guru, this is what the Sadhus say. What is pleasing Krishna? Serving the cows, serving the Vaishnavas, serving the, 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 the saintly people, you know. And of course, also, Jivedaya, which means, you know, caring for the, for, the, for the sufferings of the Jivas. But we don't go looking for them. What we go looking for is what, how can we please Krishna. This is what we look for. So that's why we are, you know, here, you know, in this Goshala, trying to do something that will please Krishna, that will please Sri Guru. You know, that's why we chose this name, Care for Cows. Care for Cows is just so that we can follow in the footsteps of Kurma Rupa Prabhu. I could have just chosen any name, you know. It doesn't, you know, I don't need to choose Care for Cows. But being in the footsteps of Sri Guru, being in the footsteps of your predecessors and trying to follow them, it is a great protection, let me tell you. It's like an umbrella. It's an umbrella on your ego. <laughs> it's an umbrella when, when the onslaught of of Maya will come, you know, because I'm telling you, when you do Seva, you get attention, you get money, you get all of these things. And if you're doing it all on your own, you're on your own dealing with the onslaught of Maya too. But when you do it in the, in the protection of Sri Guru, in the footsteps of, your prede of, of our predecessor Acharyas, then there's a protection. That's why we, we always choose to follow in the footsteps of, of Sri Guru. We always choose the, 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 the footsteps of our acharyas, you see? The scriptures. And uh, we don't, no need to invent the, wind, uh, the wheel. No need to invent the wheel. It has already been made. <laughs> and very nicely. Very, very nicely. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is lacking or, you know. Let's just accept it. Everything is pakka. Just follow in the shastras. Follow in Sri Guru. You know, and you will reach the supreme success of life. That's all I can say. If we want success in our life, then we have to just follow. It's so simple. <laughs> all right. You know, sending you guys our love from, from Bangsivat. You know, from this mystical forest of Bangsivat. Let's see if I can get some of this kirtan. She's a she's a beauty, isn't she? She's a total beauty. She just got dumped, uh, dropped off over here. I think she, you know, about a, a week ago. She was an old cow, probably. Like you know, there's some villagers said, "Okay, now she's old now. Let's go and drop her off at the Goshala. It's our it's our great fortune to serve her. Why not? We will take any cow, bring her in. Old cow, hurt cow." However, the cow is, she's a, she's a recipient, she's a medium, via medium of our seva to Krishna. She will carry our, our, our prayers, you know. Listen. Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare Hare Hari Nam Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai Alright, that's it for today Sending you guys all my prayers Be safe, be safe May the, cow, may the cows And Krishna keep you all safe You know, wherever you guys are And inspired, and inspired It's important, you know in order to be safe, you have to be inspired as well. That's what will, the inspiration will keep you safe. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Radhe Shyam.